Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Praise the Lord. We are back on another Thursday. Thursday Live. Amen. To bring forth the word of God to give you what thus saith the Lord. Amen. Come on in. You're welcome. Everybody's welcome. The son of man, woman, boy, and girl. You're welcome to come in. Amen. And then join us on today. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. All righty then. Let me see. Can I? Can I tag some people? I forgot we came. No, it's not gonna let me tag because I'm already on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me see, can I tag some people? <sighs> Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Are y'all ready? <laughs> okay, let me see. Praise God, praise God, praise God. It's not going to let me tag. All righty then. That's fine. Glory to God. We bless the Lord. Amen for everyone that's on here today. Glory to God. Well, hello, my faithful follower. How are you? Uh, I can depend on you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Good afternoon. Amen. Glad to see you in the house on today. Praise God. This is the day that the Lord has made. I pray you're doing well. Amen. On this beautiful day of the Lord. Amen. That you're excited about another day that he allowed us to see. <laughs> Amen. I want you to share. Share with your family. Share with your friends. Share with your loved ones. Amen. Glory to God. Share, share, share. Um, let them know that we're on on today. Glory to God. Tag somebody and let them know that we're on <clears> on <throat> today. Amen. We come to lift up the name of Jesus. We come to give God glory. I come to give God the honor, the praise that is due him. Hallelujah. He's worthy of all the praises. Whether we give it to him or not, he's worthy of all the praises. Amen. He's a good God. Hallelujah. So we owe God a yet praise. Amen. Amen. Thank you, ma'am. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy of all the praises, whether we give it to him or not. He's yet worthy. Glory to God. Let me step up. Hallelujah. It is a beautiful day outside. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We come to give God praise. We come to give him what's due him. It's a new season. It's time to get, as the saints used to say years ago, it's time to get on the battlefield. For the Lord, it's time to get a job done. Amen. It's time, it's time, it's time. It's time to stand. It's time to cry loud. It's time to uh, do what God has called us to do. Uh, we got a work to do. We got a job to do. 
as the people of God, as the children of God, as the saints of God, as leadership. Good afternoon, Ethel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glad to see you in the house, girl. Amen. We thank God. We give God praise on today. I'm excited about the word of God. Praise God for what he's going to do and what he's going to say, what he's got to say on today. We're going on into the word of God. We're going back to the book of Revelation. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Chapter two and chapter three. Praise God. I'm going to talk about this Jezebel. She's just a mess. Amen. That spirit is just a mess in the house today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. But I want you to go with me to the book of Revelation chapter, the latter part of chapter two, beginning at verse 21. And then I'm going on into the book in chapter uh, three uh, in the church of Sardis. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Glory to God. Father, we thank you right now for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for another day that we had never seen before. But God, you allowed us to, to wake up this morning and Lord, you even gave us the activities of our limbs. And Lord, we thank you for just touching us with your finger of love. Uh, right early this morning and after touching us with your finger love God you let us be closed in our right mind and we just tell you thank you you're such an awesome God you're a mighty God you are the king of king and the lord of lords you are the great I am oh God you're everything you are more in that more than that amen we just love you we appreciate you we thank you God for just loving us we thank you for allowing your son Jesus to oh God die on the cross shed his blood amen amen that we might be saved and lord we thank you god we ask you right now father to search our hearts and on today and you find anything that's not like you lord we ask you to strip us of it lord anything in our lives in our minds oh god that's contrary to the word of god that's in oh god we ask you to move it we ask you to strip of it of it right now anything we have in our life that's in common with the enemy oh god strip us of it right now god because we just want to be right we want to live according to your word. We give you praise and we give you glory. Lord, open up our ears that we can hear what the Spirit will say to the church. Open up our hearts to receive and our minds to comprehend. Lord, I pray that you will put bonds behind the cross. Let me decrease that you may increase. Send that anointing that's going to make preaching easy. Send that anointing that's going to make teaching easy. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, have your way. Lord, we pray for leadership. We pray for the son of man, woman, boy, and girl. We bind the hands of the enemy. Any agenda that he has, we plead the very blood of Jesus against it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Let us say amen. Good afternoon, apostle. Praise God. We give God praise. We give him glory on today. We give him honor just because of who he is. Amen. <laughs> God is so good to us. Amen. We owe God a yet praise. We owe him. Y'all, we owe him a thank you, Jesus. We owe him a hallelujah. We owe him a glory be to God. Oh, God, another day that he allowed us to see. Another day that he woke us up. Amen. Another day, hallelujah, that the Lord is keeping us. Amen. Another day, he gave us our right mind. Another day, he gave us the activities of our limb. Another day, he let us to see the sunshine. Ah, oh, glory be God. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. Somebody woke up and couldn't get up. But Lord, you, you woke us up in God. We we're able to get up and to put on our clothes and feed ourselves. And God, we thank you. We give God glory for that because he's worthy. He's worthy. He keep on blessing us day by day by day. Every day, God keep on blessing us. He keep on moving on our behalf. He keep on making ways. How many of y'all know he make ways out of no ways? It, dad, you don't even see how you're going to make a way. You don't know how you're going to pay your bills. But some way, somehow, he stepped right in just in the nick of time. When you feel like that you're going to lose it. Oh, God, hallelujah. He'll step in right in the nick of time. That's the kind of God he is because he loves us. Amen. He keeps shielding us. He keeps protecting us. Amen. He keeps our bodies healed. Yes, the enemy will attack our bodies, but the God we serve is able. Oh, God, either ease the pain to move the pain because that's the kind of God he is. He loves us so much. And uh, who wouldn't serve a God like that? Amen. Hallelujah. He's such a mighty good God. He's such an awesome God. And we owe God a yet praise. We owe him a hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. We overdue. Praise God. He's way overdue. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, God, we just praise God. I didn't even see it, Paul. So I didn't even see no mean emoji. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. But we just give God the glory. We worship him on today. Praise God. We're going to go back into the word of God. We're going back to the book of Revelation. Praise the Lord. Amen. Chapter 2. Glory be to God. When we're talking about this, this Jezebel spirit, as I said last week, amen, I thought I was through with this, amen, and, and I already did the church of Sardis, but he took me back to Sardis, praise God, but anyway, amen, praise God, we talked about, amen, the spirit of Jezebel, glory be to God, that spirit that is in the house of the Lord, amen, that spirit is there, amen. That yes, spirit that come to destroy, to, to, to divide, to cause problems, to be controlling. Amen. Praise God. To tear up the church, to tear up your home, to tear up your family. Hallelujah. To tear you up. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. That spirit is there. Amen. To lead people the wrong way. Glory be to God. But we know that God is able. Praise God. But we we'll begin to talk about uh, the spirit of Jezebel last week. Amen. And, and as I said, it's not all, it's all about the women. It's not all about the women. It's men has that spirit too, because that spirit, that is a spirit of controlling, a spirit of manipulation, a spirit of div divisiveness. Amen. Praise God. And it comes through men and women, boy, girl, and children. But we praise God that God is a deliverer. Amen. Out of everything, we're going to read here in verse 21 where he gave Jezebel an opportunity to, to opportunity to repent. And even now, he's giving people that have this spirit an opportunity to repent and to get their lives together. Praise God. And we know there's some that are just not going to repent. They're not going to acknowledge, amen, that they have allowed that spirit to creep into their lives. But in order to see God in peace, they're going to have to get it right. In the verse 21, it says, praise God, in second chapter, uh, verse 21, it says, and I gave her, and I gave her the space to repent of her fornication and she repented not i gave her the opportunity to repent he given the people the opportunity he could have oh my god i thank you he could have came a long time ago praise god but he's given the people the opportunity to repent hallelujah of their ways and the way that they are the things that they're doing the lives that they're living Amen. Praise God. The attitude that they have. Praise God. He given the opportunity to repent, but he said she refused to repent. He said, but, but I will cast her into a bed. And them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. That that spirit, amen, praise God, is very controlled, is very strong. Praise God and very manipulative. Glory be to God. It's got people that's following it. Praise God, they're, they're teaching half truth, and there are people that just running behind it. It's time to hear the word, the true word of God, not nothing that's been compromised, not nothing that's been sugarcoated, but we need to hear the true word of God. Stop falling for false teaching, false doctrines and stuff, and this is the time that we're living in. People are coming down, amen, because their spirit has crept into the house. That spirit has crept into your homes. Praise God. Glory be to God. That spirit has crept into the lives of the people. Praise God. So they need to get it together. It's time to get ready and get right because if we don't, we're going to be left back here. And nobody want to be left back here in the tribulation period. But this spirit of Jezebel has crept into the house of God. And we try to figure out why a lot of churches is falling apart. It's because that spirit has crept in. That little sneaky snake has, snapped, has, has sneaked in, has crept into the house of God. Tearing up this, coming against leadership, coming against the pastor, coming against the saint, bringing divisions in the house of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Bringing hatred. People not loving like they used to. Amen. They're more, we, we uh, hate more than anything else. They reject you. Hallelujah. They turn their back on you. Amen. Glory be to God. There's a jealous spirit that's in the body of Christ. Praise God. There's a hallelujah. There's a manipulative spirit in the house of God. Hallelujah. There's a lying spirit, believe it or not, in the house of God. Praise God. And this is the spirit of Jezebel. Praise God. It's time to evict her out of the house. Amen. It's time to evict. Amen. Jezebel out of the house. Hey, glory be to God. Hallelujah. And he begins, I, I give you the opportunity to get this thing right. People, not, they're not going to get right until they acknowledge that they have allowed the spirit to overtake them. They know they're not, that's not their character. They know that's not the way they be. 
praise God. But this spirit has crept in and it's so strong. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you're not where you need to be in God, it'll creep up on you before you know it. Amen. This is why we need a discernment. We need that discernment, amen, glory be to God, and to be able to recognize that spirit when we see it in the house. We need to recognize that spirit when we see it in our homes, hallelujah. We need to be able to recognize that spirit when we see it in our family. That spirit is coming in to tear up families. Our families used to be so close together. Y'all remember back in the families was close. I got your back, amen. I ain't going to talk about I'm not going to pull you down, and I ain't going to let nobody else pull you down. But now everybody's talking about it. That's the spirit of Jezebel. Jezebel has crept among the families, amen, among the loved ones, among husbands and wives, amen. Praise God. And it's time to tell that spirit, okay, your eviction day is the day. I'm serving you eviction notice on today. It won't happen no more. The book stops here. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to stand on the word of God. I'm going to walk upright. I'm going to do what God has called me to do. I'm not going to compromise. Hallelujah. I'm not falling in your trap anymore. It sounded good when you were talking, but now, hallelujah, it, it's just taking me into a, a quick road to hell. So I made up my mind, hey, your eviction notice, devil. Amen, Jezebel. I'm serving you your eviction notice today. Hey, the buck stop here. Enough is enough. Praise God. If we can't figure out why there's no joy in the house because the enemy has come in. He said, I come to kill, steal, and to destroy. He, came, he has come in. He stole the joy. He stole the praise from the people of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Come down. It's time, come down. You need somebody just come in there and sweep out the house. Praise God. Let some of that, let the people of God, the old saints, the people that know how to pray, people that can get a prayer through, go in and sweep out the house. Anything that's not like God, they need to come in and sweep out the house. Praise God. Sweep out the church house. Praise God. That spirit that has crept in the house. You go into your house and sweep out that house and let the devil. You have no authority in this, in this habitation. You will not sit in here. Your eviction, I'm serving you. Your eviction notice on today. The book stops here. Enough is enough. I'm not doing it anymore. I will not fall in your trap anymore. Praise God. I will love. Hallelujah. Amen. I will respect. Hallelujah. I will treat him right. I will live whole. I will walk up right. I will serve God. Praise God. I will take him at his word. I will trust in the Lord. Praise God. I'm going to lean on the Lord. I'm not going to lean on all this false doctrine that you're giving me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Tell me I can do this and I can do that. And I know that's against the word of God. Hallelujah. This is the time that we're living in. They're coming in and they're teaching all this stuff. You can do this. All this stuff that you God delivered you from. And now they tell you, you know, it won't like that. Come on, really? Good gracious of life. It's time to stand on the word of God. It's time to let that let that spirit know your eviction notice to being served today. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's time for the people of God to get it together, to repent. Amen. And wake up. Praise God. Look at what's going on around you. Look at what's going on in the land. Look at what's going on in the, in the house of God. Look what's going on in the body of Christ. Glory be to God. They have just, he's not even there anymore. Hallelujah. They're coming in. Amen. Praise God. Not because they want to come, but out of sense of, I mean, out of sense of duty. I know I'm supposed to be there. Praise God. We need to come. God, I want to hear from you on today. I need a word from you on today, God. I need some strength of God. Praise God. The Bible says strength lies among those that are sanctified. We need to come together and pull together as the body of Christ. Amen. Don't allow the enemy to come in to tear you you apart. Praise God. Don't allow the enemy to come in your house and tear your house up. Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't you dare allow the enemy to come in and tear up your marriage. Hallelujah. Don't allow the enemy, amen, to come in, praise God, and tear up, amen, the relationship that you have with your children. Praise God. Don't allow the enemy to come in and tear up your relationship with your parents. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's the spirit of Jezebel. But we read right here when he said, I gave her the opportunity. I give her the opportunity to repent. And she refused to repent. And because she won't repent, it said right here, in the verse, he said, I'm going to cast her into a bed. And them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. You can't love too. Amen. They used to sing a song back in the day. Trying to love too ain't easy to do. You can't love God and the devil too. You can't serve God and the devil too. Serve God on Sunday and the devil Monday through Saturday. It just don't work that day. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Monday through Tuesday because Wednesday's Bible study. Thursday's Bible study. Tuesday's Bible study. Praise God. Hallelujah. Then you're going to serve God but the rest of the time until Sunday you're going to serve the enemy. It don't work that way. Trying to love too ain't easy to do. If you're going to serve God, you're going to serve the devil. Amen. He said, and know that, 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 that went along with her. They're going right on down with her. They're going right on down in that spirit with them. Praise God. It's time to repent and wake up. It's time to get this thing together. Amen. It's time to make up your mind. Shake yourself off. Say, enough is enough. Hallelujah. I've listened to you long enough. Amen. I dealt with the spirit long enough. Hallelujah. I'm serving you an eviction notice on today. This is not happening anymore. You got to get out. You got to go. Hallelujah. Amen. God give us power over the enemy. Praise God. Hallelujah. He give us power over the enemy, not only over the enemy, but all the works of the enemy. It's not enough to talk about that power. We better learn how to use that power that God has given us. Amen. We talk about it all the time, but are you using what God has given you? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Reverend Isaac said, you can't lose with the stuff I use. Amen. We use the power of God. We use the word of God against the enemy. Praise God. When he came up against Jesus, when he was up on the mountain, amen, Jesus didn't fuss at him. He just gave him the word. He said, it is written. Glory be to God. We better learn how to stand on the word. The devil can't take the word. He got to back it up. And there's power in the word of God. There's power in the name of Jesus. Praise God. The Bible said when, when you call on the name of Jesus, demons tremble. Glory be to God. So we got to learn how to use that power. Stop talking all about the power. Start working that power. Start walking in that power. Start walking in that anointing that God has placed in your life. Stop allowing that spirit to try to overtake you. Want you to hate everybody. Want you to not like everybody. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to God. Now make you don't want to be around about. Uh -uh, that's a trick of the enemy. Praise God. Our strength lies against that wall among our sisters and brothers in Christ. That's where our strength lies, and the enemy knows that. The enemy knows that you're going to get strength when you come together. He said one can put a thousand, and two can chase ten thousand. Hallelujah. Praise God. Why people are not being delivered anymore? Ah, glory be to God. It's time to let the devil know. Amen. I'm serving your eviction notice today. The book stops here. You done done. You have tormented me long enough. You messed with me long enough. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So I'm serving you an eviction notice on today. Praise God. Enough is enough. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to brush myself off, shake myself off, and I'm going on with the Lord. So you might as well get behind me, Satan. Ah, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God, hallelujah. We need that. Lord, 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 let this mind be in me that's also in Christ. This is where a lot of the mental illness, this is a spirit of Jezebel that has crept in the land. Amen. But I heard the word of God, what he said in my people. Who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Seek my face. Turn from that weak way. He said, and I hear from heaven. And I forgive their sins. And I heal the land. Praise God. Praise God. We got to learn how to humble ourselves. Ah, glory be to God. Humble is the way. Praise God. Glory be to God. Humble is the way. Praise God. God knows. Hallelujah. What it takes, amen, for the people of God. Hallelujah. To give it. He wants the people of God to come back to him. Even though they were like that in Thyatira, there was still some in there that had made up their mind. Y'all do what you want to do, but I'm going to stay with God. I'm going to trust God. You got to have that mentality. I'm not going to fall in the trap of the enemy. Just because it sounds good, amen, and it's contrary to the word, that don't mean it's right. Praise God. We better know the word for ourselves. Praise God. Hallelujah. There's so many doctrines out there. There's so many different Bibles out there. There's so many different speakers out there. There's so many bishops, many pre pre people out there, many preachers. But let me tell you, the word is right, right by itself. It is not going to go contrary against itself. Praise God. We got to learn how to stand on the word of God. We got to do what the word says. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's time to serve people of God. It's time to serve an eviction notice ha, on the enemy. 
It's time to serve an eviction notice on the enemy. Amen. They come in to try to kill you. They come in to try to take your joy. They come in to try to confuse you. Praise God. Hallelujah. They come in trying to tell you, that ain't God speaking to you. Uh, that's just your mind. You better know. He said, my sheep will know my voice, and a stranger will not follow. Praise God. We better hear God. Glory be to God. And begin to do what God has called us to do, to walk in that anointing. Praise God. Because if you don't walk in that anointing, if you don't use what you got, God can take it away from you. Glory be to God. Barnes, what are you talking about? Go back into the word of God. When he passed out those five talents. Amen. Everybody else used it. Everybody went out and used what they had. They added more to what they had. So when he came back to see what uh, progress they had, amen, they were able to show him their progress. But that one person said, I, I, uh, I kept mine because I know that you're going to, no, 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 no. He, and he took it away from him and gave it to somebody else. Do you want him to take your anointing? Do, he want, do you want him to move the anointing? No, you want to keep what you got so you can get some more. <laughs> some more from God. Hallelujah, amen. It's time to use what you got. Glory be to God. It's time to stand on the word of God. Praise God. Don't allow that spirit to creep in your house no more. Get it out of there. Praise God. Hallelujah. And you see it in, in the body of Christ. <clears throat> we need to pray for the body of Christ. We need to pray for leadership. Whatever capacity that they're in, that the enemy won't come in and destroy. Ha. Huh? Glory be to God. And he using anybody. He don't care. He don't care nothing about your title. Praise God. And they're following behind this spirit. Amen. And if they don't get it right in hell, they're going to lift their eyes. So we got to learn how to, to do what the word says do. He said, those that followed her, those that was leaning into that spirit, he said, they, they, they accept they repent of their deeds. Hallelujah. They going into her with great tribulation. They are going into going in there with whatever at the end of the end, what's going to happen? They're going to end up in devil's hell. They're going to end up in the tribulation. They're going to end up in the lake of fire. If they don't get it right, praise God. If they don't shake themselves, praise God. You remember back then they had a commercial that, wow, I could have had a V8. Praise God. Wake up and smell the coffee, people. Look at what's going on in the land. Stop talking about it and be about it. It's time to be about the word. It's not enough to talk about it and not be about it. It's time to be about the word. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's time to stand on the word of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It's time to walk in the word. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Be the word. Walk in the word. Talk in the word. Live according to the word. Praise God. Hallelujah. But praise God. When that spirit come in the, in the midst, hallelujah, you can, you can be all excited to go to church. Amen. And here come that spirit to come in to kill your joy, to kill your praise, oh, to, 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 to kill your dance. Amen. Praise God. This is what that spirit of Jezebel does. Because it's against the word of God. It's against God. It's against the things of God. But we got to learn how the people of God to say, uh-uh, no, no, no. I come to hear from God. I come to receive from God. I come to hear a word from the Lord. Praise God. God, close my ears. God, help me. shake this mess off of me. They'll lay on one shoulder. You got one side saying, you better give God a pray. You got another side. No, they're going to look at you. One side, yes, you better give God a pray. No, you, you better be quiet because they, uh-uh. No, the, the devil is alive. But it's time to rebuke the enemy. Hallelujah. Use that authority, people of God. We got to use that authority that God has given us and begin to rebuke the enemy. Whatever the situation may be, whatever the, whatever the case may be, we got to learn how to rebuke the enemy and stand on the word of God. Cry loud and spare not. Hallelujah. He said, he began to tell me, he said, listen, listen, this is what he said. And I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he that searched the reins and the hearts. And I will give unto everyone according to your work. Amen. He said, I will kill their children. Amen. They are being destroyed because they, they, they left the word of God. They left the truth of God. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Then left and was going to a, some kind of idol God, some kind of idol worshiping. Amen. Some false teaching that Jezebel was doing. Amen. Jezebel was a prophetess. But amen. False prophets. They, they're following all these things. They're following the false teachers. They follow the false prophets. They follow the, I'm telling you, we better learn how to hear God. We better get a discernment. Amen. They come in to kill. They come in to destroy your house. Praise God. They come in to destroy your loved ones. They come in to destroy your children. They come in to destroy you. <laughs> this is what the Spirit does. It come in to destroy you. Hey, Amen. We better hear God. We better learn how to be the Word. Praise God. Hallelujah. Walk in the Word. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's right. We got to stand on the Word, y'all. Praise God, ain't no time to take down. You can't afford to compromise in a time that we're living in now. This is what's happening to the body of Christ. They compromise. They've taken down off of the true word of God. Call themselves trying to win somebody. Then more, now we're living in a time now people are is more concerned about the quantity than the quality. They want to get the how many, how big a church I can get, how many this and how many that. But there's soul that's dying and going to hell. Praise God. Why are you trying to build up a big church? Come on, really? Praise God. Jesus is soon to come. Praise God. We we are out here for discipleship. We try to build for the kingdom of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Stop hearing that what, what this mess that this spirit is talking about. Hear the true word of God. Hear the true word of God. Praise God. We got to hear. We got to we got to stand, y'all. So we won't fall for anything. We got to stand on the word. Lord, sharpen my discernment. You see stuff going there. You go in and you're so weighted down, you can't praise him like you want to. Because that spirit is sitting there on your shoulder. It's time to get up and shake it off. If you got to stand up in the garden, just shake it off. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He, he's still in the dances. He's still in the praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Take your joy. Take your praise. Take your dance. Take your victory. Praise God. Hallelujah. You used, used to praise the Lord all the time. Hallelujah. You used to have joy. And now it's like the choo-choo train. I think I can. You try so hard to get into service. Hallelujah. And the enemy got your mind bogged with a whole lot of stuff. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. It's time to send an eviction notice. To that spirit. Not today, devil. The buck stops here. Glory be to God. And this is what he was saying. This is what happened in, in, in the church of Fire Tower. He said, I will kill their children. Ah, Jesus, I will kill their children with death. And all the church shall know that I am he who searches the reins and the hearts. They'll know that I am the true living God. Hallelujah. I search your heart. I search your mind. I know where you mean business or not. I know where you really mean me. I know where you really love me or not. I know what you really want to serve me. If you begin to go back and look at every all seven churches, amen, the seven churches of Asia, praise God, in each one of the scriptures, even in the beginning, he began to say, I know. Glory be to God. I know, amen, whether you're real or not. I know when you're playing. I know when you're pretending. Praise God. Hallelujah. I know when you're doing it for my glory that I may get the glory out of it. I know when you're doing it. So just get reputation that that's a dancing person. That's a praiser. Uh-uh. Praise God. Everything that you do, we need to do it to the glory of God, not to the glory of man. This is what Jezebel want to do. Do things for outside show. Just to get a pat on the back for man. Praise God. But everything we do, we need to do it to the glory of God. It's time to send an eviction notice to Jezebel. That spirit, that note, uh-uh, the day is a day. Uh, uh the buck stops here. Enough is enough. I'm not going to be dead no more. I'm not going to be dry anymore. I'm going to keep my joy. I'm going to keep my praise. I'm going to serve the Lord. I'm going to raise my hand. I'm going to tell God, thank you. I'm going to live holy. I'm going to stay in the word. I'm going to eat the word. I'm going to live the word. I'm going to walk the word. I'm going to trust God. Hallelujah. I'm going to run for my life. I'm going to stay on the battlefield. I'm going to keep my eyes to the hills for which cometh my help. And all of my help comes from the Lord. So, devil, you might as well back it up. Hallelujah. You've been around here long enough. It's time for you to go somewhere and sit down. Go back to the pit where you come from. Glory be to God. Because you have no authority in this habitation. Because we belong to the king. The king of kings and the lord of lords. 
the great I am. We have the I am that I am on the inside. Praise God. Hallelujah. We got the I am that I am on the inside. We have Christ on the inside of our life. We have the spirit of the Lord on the inside of us. Praise God. We need to, hallelujah, to walk in it. Oh, glory be to God. To let him know, Lord, I appreciate you. Praise God. I will not let nothing separate me from the love of God. Praise God. I won't let nothing, the family, friends, no matter. I, they will not separate me from you, God. I'm going to do what you called me to do. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. He said, he said, but unto you. Woo. Uh, no, he said, and all the church should know that I, I search the heart and I give unto you everyone you according to your works. I'm going to give unto you according to your works. He said, but unto you I say, and unto the rest of Thyatira, as many as have not this doctrine. There's a false doctrine that she's planning, that that spirit is planning out there. The men and the women, there's a false doctrine that they're putting out there. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. There's so much in the land. Y'all be surprised what's going on in the land. In ministry, in the body of Christ. Amen. That spirit has crept in the house. Glory be to God. Praise God. And we sitting around without sitting back with our legs crossed, think everything is alright. Everything is not alright. It's not already alright. Praise God, hallelujah. It's time to get in a hurry. It's time to wake up and smell the coffee. It's time to repent. Amen. This is what he's, he's saying to the church of thy tower. You need to repent. You all need to repent. All of you that's following that spirit of Jezebel, praise God, and listening to what they're saying, praise God, and falling into this false doctrine, and falling into the, following this false prophet, just following this false teacher. Glory be to God. He said you need to repent and get it right. Wake up to see what's going on. We're walking around town. People walk with their eyes open, but they're just as blind as a bat. Can't see nothing. Used to come able to see. Used to have that oversight. They don't even have, they don't even got oversight, undersight either. Praise God. Because this thing has snuck in. And it's such a genuine thing. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The people of God can't see what's really going on. It's time to send an eviction notice. Hallelujah. To that spirit. Say, uh -uh, uh, no more. You've, you've, you've taken enough from me. Ha, ah, glory be God. Leaders need, be, need to go in there and bind up everything. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're living in the last days, y'all. We're living in a critical time, and there's so much that the, the love of men have waxed cold. They're, they're taking God totally out the house just about it. He tried to come in, and they got everything else going on. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, but I just want to come in. I'm standing at the door knocking, trying to come in. Praise God. Hallelujah. When the spirit of the Lord, when the pain wants to move, praise God. Hallelujah. There's so many just quench the spirit because of somebody else. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us quench not the spirit. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Don't quench the spirit. Amen. If the spirit just allow the spirit to have his way. He want to have his way in the house. He want to have his way in you. Praise God. What is your hold up? Glory be to God. Come on, y'all. Let's get this thing together. It's in that eviction notice out. Make up your mind. Praise God. Hallelujah. When you're out in the, in the, in the stores, live holy. Walk holy with your head up high. I don't care what you're going through. Still walk up with your head up high. Glory be to God. When somebody asks you how you're doing, I'm doing well. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. The enemy want to have a depression spirit. This is what the spirit does. He wants to send a depression spirit over you. He want to send suppression. Oh, he want to send pity part. He want to send oppression upon you. Praise God. But we are the children of God. We are the kids, king's kids. We belong to God. Praise God. We can hold our head up and say, Lord, I thank you. Glory be to God. I give you glory, God. I give you praise. Ah, for what you yet already doing. I'm doing well. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. The glory to God. Don't ever let the enemy know. Praise God. When you're feeling down. Praise God. When you're going through. Still got God a praise. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Praise God. Don't allow that spirit to take you into depression. Don't allow that spirit to take you into depression. Hallelujah. Don't allow that spirit to come in to destroy. Praise God. It's time to send an eviction notice. It's time to send an eviction notice to that Jezebel spirit. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's time to stand and be strong in the Lord and in the very power of his might. 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He said, but those that did not fall into the clutches, in so many words, and the clutches of that spirit, amen, of Jezebel, he said, I'm going to bring you into the kingdom. Glory to God. He said, but he, he said that hold fast. He said, hold fast until I come. Hold on just a little. He said, men has not, men has not this doctrine and which have not known the depths of Satan as they speak. But I will put upon you none other burden. I will not allow these things to happen to you. That's going to happen to those that, that, that kept falling in and kept following that spirit, that Jezebel spirit. Allowing that spirit to overtake them. He said, I won't allow the things that I'm going to do to them to come to you. I will not do it because you trusted me. You loved me. You stood on my word. You walked upright. You didn't fall into the clutches. You didn't fall into the tricks of the enemy. Holly, you stood strong. You trusted me. He said, but that which you have already, hold fast. I'm telling you, stand strong, women of God. Stand strong, men of God. Hallelujah. Hold on to your integrity. Hold on to your salvation. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Hallelujah. The song said, build your hopes on things eternal. Amen. And hold on to God's unchanging hand. Don't give in. Don't you compromise. Don't sugarcoat. Amen. Just because it's my family. Just because it's my children. Just because it's my, my mama. Just because it's my daddy. Just because it's my siblings. Hallelujah. Don't compromise with them. Praise God. Tell them the truth. Amen. If they ask you, tell them the truth. Praise God. Holly, the truth will make you free. That's what the word said. Praise God. We got to hold fast. He said, hold fast until I come. I I'm coming. Praise God, Holly. But until I come, stand firm. Stand strong. Hold on until I come. He this is what he said. He said, and he that overcome it and keeping my works until the end, to my giving power over the nations. Oh, glory to God. He's I give him power. He said, Look, they'll be able to rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers as I received of my father. Hallelujah. Don't you give up. If you're standing on the word of God, if you if you have made up your mind, I'm not falling to the clutches of that spirit. Praise God. I would not allow them to tickle my ears. Praise God. Hallelujah. I would not allow them to bring doubt in my mind. I would not allow them to bring depression on me. Praise God. Hallelujah. I would not allow them, amen, to put unforgiveness in my heart for my sister and brother in Christ. I will not do that because I know that's not of God. Praise God. Y'all know what's of God and what's not of God. Praise God. But that spirit has crept in and, and twisted, amen, twisted the word up and on their side the way that they think it should be. But we got to learn how to forgive and let God do God. But praise God, there was some that made them, I'm going to stand on the word. I'm going to trust God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm not going to fall into the clutches. I'm not going to lean on the doctrine of that spirit. It's not going to happen. So he said, and I will give them the morning star. This is what the word said. He said, and I will give them the morning star, the one that stood strong, the one that held on to my word, the one that stood on my word, the one that still walked upright, Woo! the one that didn't take down. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, I will give them the morning star. Glory be to God. So people of God, it's time to let the devil know. It's time to let that spirit know. I serve you notice on the day. Your eviction notice. I have sent out your eviction notice. Not today. Amen. Praise God. And then he went on down to the church. Amen. He began to talk to the church of Sardis. Praise God. And he began to tell them. He said, I know. I know. I know your works. I know your works. Glory be to God. I know your works. That thou has a name. That thou livest and are dead. It's time to be real. It is time to be real. Glory be to God. It's time to walk upright. It's time to live according to the word of God. Praise God. He said, I know your works. Glory be to God. He said, I know this. I know exactly. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I know that you claim to be alive, but you walk around like dead men. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. You, you're making a praise, but it's not genuine. Praise God. You're just going along with the music. Praise God. And I see that you're pretending. Be real or be still. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, you, you, somewhere, somewhere down the line, people have lost their joy. They've lost their praise. Praise God. They go in the house of God and come out the same way they went in. They go in the house of God and come out sometimes worse than it was when they went in. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Because the enemy has come in to kill, 
When you go in, he's already waiting, waiting there, waiting on you. Glory be to God, hallelujah. But we got to have that spirit of it that spirit that we can hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. We have to have that spiritual ear that we can hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. And he began to talk about, talk to Sardis and, and amen. And he began, Sardis was a place. Sardis was a place, which means those escaping a renovation. Glory to God. The Lord revealed himself, the one that has seven spirits of God and the seven stars. Amen. He said, the Lord called it to a new zeal and a new endeavor. He told them to strengthen that remain. The little bit of joy that you do have, strengthen that that you got left. Praise God. Ask God to stir up the gift on the inside. Praise God. Lord, restore my joy. Restore my praise. My genuine joy. Restore my praise. The Bible said that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The joy of the Lord. He said, what little there remain for him, for even that was showing up signs of that. You, you, you know you don't have the joy. You know you don't have the praise like you used to. You know you don't have that zeal. But God, the little bit I got left, God, strengthen it, Lord. Help me, God, to do better. Help me to add to it, God, strengthen it, Lord. I, I can't do it by myself. God, I need you to strengthen that. Help, help me to strengthen that little bit that I got left. The people had often stayed. They, they start doing things for God and they'll never finish it. Glory be to God. They start out serving God. They start out running faithfully, God. They start out, I mean, wide open for God. Praise God. But somewhere down the line, they get slack. Praise God. There was a time whenever whatever God tell you to do, you was wide open. Nobody got in your way. Praise God. Hallelujah. And this is the way that spirit, where that, that spirit will come in and hinder you. You start out wide open, praise God, getting things done for God, hallelujah, doing a work for the Lord, amen, even in your home, even in the house of God, praise God, you start out, you were wide open, amen, praise God, you had an accomplishment, you had a goal, amen, praise God, hallelujah, but all of a sudden, somewhere, you got slack along the way, praise God, hallelujah, glory to God, and it began to say they started stuff in the church of Sardis and didn't even complete it. Amen. Praise God. They started projects that didn't complete. Amen. We start we start out with the zeal and, and, and somewhere we lose our joy. We lose our praise. That spirit that comes in, it, we, lose, we lose our zeal. We, sometimes we even lose our desire even to go to the church. Praise God. I can't go there. I got a headache. I can't go there. My toe hurt. Glory be to God. Well, if you stay home, your head going to hurt. If you, if you stay home, your toe going to hurt. So you might as well go to the house of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Where you can get that healing. Amen. From the Lord. Somebody said, well, I can, I can get it at home too. But so be it. Amen. But he said, don't forget to assemble yourself together. Because our strength lies among those that are sick. sick but he said, those that are sick, call on the elders of the church and let them pray. Lay hands on you and pray. Glory be to God. We, all, we make all kinds of excuses when there was a time when we didn't make no excuses. We were going to go to church regardless. We're going to be in the house of God. I'm on my way to church. I'm ready to go. I need to hear what God got to say. Back in the day, them saints would walk to church. Amen. They didn't care how far it was. They was hungry. How, how many are hungry today for the word of God? How many are hungry today for the things of God? Praise God. We want the blessings of God. Hallelujah. We want, we want the blessed sir, but not like we used to. We're not hungry, not thirsty for him like we used to be. Oh, praise God. And I preach the message just to be close to you, God. I just want to be close to you. I just want more of you and less of me. Help this old flesh to die daily from the things of the world. God, I hunger for you. I thirst for you, Lord. Praise God. We got to go back to that place. Go, don't forget where you come from. Don't forget where God brought you from. Don't forget for how God used to use you. Don't, don't forget the gift that you have on the side. What is your gift? What has God anointed you to do? Are you doing, are you, I ask you, people of God, let me say this. I ask you to search your mind. Search yourself on today. Search your mind. Search, I mean, really do, oh, Really do some, some deep searching. What has God anointed you to do? What has he, and you know that God anointed you to do it. What has God anointed you to do? What has he called you to do? What is your calling? Are you walking in your calling? Are you walking in that anointing? Are you using that anointing to the glory of God? Are you standing on the word of God? Are you doing what God called you to do? 
Examine yourself. Not somebody else, but examine you. Are you doing? Because see, what when we do when, when Jesus come back here, He's not coming back after us for what somebody else didn't do or what they did. He's coming back up for what we did not do or what we did do. We're going to be judged according as our work shall be. That's the word of God. So we got to learn how to stand on that anointing. The people had often started projects, but never brought them to completion. Christ warned them to hold fast. He said, hold fast to the truth. Hold fast to the word. Hold fast to the truth. Amen. He warned them, hold this deposit, uh, hold fast the deposit of the truth and to repent of lifelessness. Ha! Ah, they didn't have any life. They was walking around with their eyes open, but they was they were spiritually dead. They was naturally alive, but they were spiritually dead. Have you lost your praise? Have you lost your joy? Have you lost your zeal? Glory be to God. If so, pray that God, God help me to get back where I need to be in you. God, I don't praise you like I used to. I don't have that zeal. I love you, Lord, with all my heart and soul. I just don't have that zeal, that, that, that get up and go like I used to. Glory be to God. Let God do God. God, help me to get back in that place. Amen. We can pray. God will do what needs to be done. Hallelujah. Pray God, help me to fall in love with you all over again, Lord. I love you, but I want to fall in love with you all over again. Lord, let my ear be to your mouth. Let my heart be to your heart. Let this mind be in me that's also in Christ Jesus. Don't let me think the wrong thing. Don't let me look the wrong way. Sanctify my eyes. Ah, clear my mind. Don't let me hear nothing the enemy has to say, God. Close my ears to whatever the devil has to say. But God, I need to hear from you. I need a word from you, Lord. Help me to walk right. He told them, strengthen those things that remains in you. Praise God. Some of you, somebody has not fallen to the tricks of the enemy. Praise God. Hallelujah. Heaven allowed that, that Jezebel spirit, has not allowed them spirits, amen, to, to overtake you. Somebody has made it their mind, I'm going to stand. Come hell or high water, I'm going to stand. That's the mind that we got to have. Lord, I'm going to stand. Glory to God. And he began to talk about the church in silence. He said, but Christ warned them to hold fast. Unless they wake up, they need to wake up. Repent and wake up. God, I'm sorry. I came up slack. I've taken down in so many different areas. Praise God. Hallelujah. Go back and look. You're not where you used to be. Hallelujah. But God, I repent, God. Help me to get back in that place where I need to be in you. Help me to be more submissive unto you. Help me to be more committed unto you, not just in words, but in deeds, in the life that I live. We can talk a whole big talk, but what about the life that we live? God, help me to get back in that place where I need to be in you. Hallelujah. Help me to be able to win souls for the kingdom. Because it's all about the kingdom. Help me to be, win discipleship. Glory be to God. Help me, God. Help me to be able to witness to my brothers and sisters. Help me to witness, amen, to the son of man, woman, boy, and girl. Teach me, Master. Teach me. Glory be to God. And he would do just that. We got to learn how to God. Help me. Ask for help. Ha, ah, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, unless they wake up. Unless they wake up, he will come unexpectedly and will deal with them in judgment. We don't want him to, we don't want him to deal with us like that. We want to be done everything that God has predestined for us to do, what he has anointed us to do. Glory be to God. He said, wake up, people. Repent and wake up. Wake up. Shake yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think it was Mary Mary said, shake yourself loose. Praise God. Ha hallelujah. Glory to God. We go to church. But let me ask you a personal question. How many of you on this line are really free in Christ? You're really free. And you know that you're free in Christ. That you will let nothing get in your way. That you you giving God what 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 is due him. You're giving him more than 150% of yourself. Are you really free? Are you walking in your anointing? Are you using what God has given you? 
Ha, ah, glory be to God. Think about it. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're trying to make it to the kingdom. We want to hear him say, well done. Thou good and faithful servant. Glory be to God. How I've been faithful. You've been, you've been, I've been faithful a few things, but I want to make you rule over many. Come on in and tell the joy of the Lord. How, Lord, help me, God. Glory be to God. Help us to get in that place, God. He said, if you don't, this is what I'm reading. He said, if you don't, he'll come unexpectedly and deal with you. Praise God. You, I heard somebody say, somebody said this one time, you have not been whipped until you've been whipped by God. We don't want him to whip us. But he chastised those that he loved. We understand, we don't understand what sometimes we go through things. God has chastised us. We have, we, have, we have strayed out of the way. And he tried to just bring you back. <laughs> bring you back. Amen. Bring you back in, in the place where you need to be. Hallelujah. He's going to nudge you back in there because he loves you just that much. He loves you just that much. Glory be to God. And when he begin to when he begin to bring you back in that place, walk in it. Walk in it. Glory be to God. With the authority, with your head up. Praise God. And your, your shoulders back and your head up. Glory be to God. You walking in that anointing that God has placed in your life. You walking in about. You walking in that calling that God has placed in your life. Are you really walking in that anointing? Are you using what God has given you? Are you exercising the gifts that God has placed in your life? Praise God. Or are, are, are they just sitting there dormant? Praise God. Is your anointing sitting there dormant? Amen. Praise God. Anything that sits, amen, as I said a few days ago, anything that sits like water, after water has sit there for a long while, after a while it'll begin to stink. Are you, is your, have your, your gifts, have they sit dormant? Have you just sit down on your gifts? Have you sit down on your anointing? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Have you sit down on the calling that God, have you, are you doing, preacher, are you preaching? Deacon, are you being a deacon? Mothers, are you being mothers? Evangelists, are you evangelizing? Ah, pastor, are you pastoring? Are you really, do you have the heart for the family, for the people of God? Are you pastoring? Teachers, are you teaching? Ah, prophets, are you really prophesying the true word of God, what God has really given you? Not what you think, but what God has, are you really, are you doing what you're supposed to do? Are you really speaking the word when God give you to give a word to somebody? Are you just hold your peace because of what they might say? It's time to walk in that calling, walk in that anointing. Bishop, are you being a bishop? Are you walking in bishopric? Glory be to God. Apostle, are you doing what, are you really being an apostle? Are you doing what God has called you to do? Are you walking in that anointing? Are you walking in that calling? Praise God. Leaders, are you walking in what of your capacity of your leadership is? We are going to be held accountable. If we don't do what God has called us to do, if we don't walk in that anointing, if we don't live the way God has called us to live, according to his word of God, he said, I will. He will come unexpectedly and deal with you. He will come. He will come unexpectedly and deal with you. There was a remnant even in Sardis who had not lost. It's Christian testimony. These believers who had not defied their garments with worldliness will walk with Christ. In white. Ha! Ah, praise God. Hallelujah. Let us walk upright, people of God. Let us talk upright. Let's live according. Let's walk in that anointing. Let's walk in that gift that God has given us. Praise God. Don't wait for somebody. God will open up that door. He'll make room for your gift. He'll make room for your calling. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He'll make room. Praise God. All we got, all he need from us is just a yes, Lord. And dedicating his faithfulness. Praise God. Help us, oh God, to get in that place. Oh, glory be to God that you would have us to be. It's time to start doing what you're supposed to be doing. Stop talking about it and start being about it. Praise God. It's time to repent and wake up. Praise God. And do what? And stop sleeping in a dangerous time. Stop walking with your eyes open, but your spiritual life is sleeping. You, you, it's slumbering and it's sleeping. Amen. We're not walking in the, the, the full power that God has given us. Praise God. It's time to stand on the word of God. Hallelujah. As I said before, are you walking in your anointing? Check yourself out. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Are you walking in that anointing? Are you walking or using the gift that God has given you? Are you walking in your calling? Are you truly Fully walking in your calling. 
Are you truly, fully walking in that anointing? Are you living that life, amen, that God has told us to live? He said, if they, if they did not do it, he began to say, I'm going to come quickly. I'm going to come quickly. And we, when he, he, he chastised us, y'all. He chastised us. Hallelujah. He, he would that no soul would be lost. He loves us all. Glory to be God. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. We give God praise. Amen. He said, they were the overcomers who righteous act marked them as true believers. So they're going to have white garments. Though when we do the will of God, we're going to be able to have those white garments. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Speak of righteousness like he kept because they manifested true Christians. Their names will not be blotted out of the book of life. Praise God. It will not be taken out of the book of life. Praise God. We want our word, we want our name also in the book of life. He want our name in the Lamb's book of life. We want to hear him call our name. Hallelujah. And say, welcome home. Praise God. Examine yourself. Repent and wake up. Amen. And most of all, let that spirit that has crept in the house, that may have crept in your life, some and the unaware, it's time to let them know, I'm serving you eviction notice today. The buck stops here. It's over. Glory to God. We bless the Lord on today. Amen. I praise God for the word of God on today. I pray I said something. Amen. To encourage your heart, to stir up your very mind. Amen. It's time to get right so we won't get left. Jesus is soon to come, and he's closer than we could ever imagine. Amen. He loves us so much. Amen. Glory to God. I was reading, reading somewhere when he gave him the opportunity to repent. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Even the ones that was falling into that spirit of Jezebel. Amen. He gave them, he gave her the opportunity to repent. He gave, he, in other words, he gave us the opportunity to repent. The people of God, the house to repent from the things. Amen. Glory to God. The lives that we lived that was, a, was contrary to the word of God. We got to get right people so we won't get left. We got to stop falling into that unforgiveness. We got to stop falling into that jealousy. We got to stop falling into that hatred. We got to stop falling into that funny looks. Hallelujah. We got to stop falling and have respect the persons. Uh, you, hallelujah. Well, if you don't go to my church, I ain't visiting you. Praise God. We got to learn how to fellowship ah, with one another. Praise God. Hallelujah. There's some people who won't go nowhere but their own church. The high glory. They won't visit nobody else. Ha, ah, glory be to God. But God visit everybody. Ah, he not only goes to your church, he go to everybody else's too. Praise God. But we want to be like Jesus. Ooh, we shouldn't have respect the person. We learn in order to have friends, you gotta show yourself friendly. We gotta learn how to fellowship. When we don't have service at our own church, we need to learn how to fellowship with other people. Praise God. We need to learn how to come in and come together. Ah, don't forget, let's, let, let's learn how to come and let's reason together. Let's come and, and, and have church together. Praise God. When you're not having church, go visit somebody else. Praise God. Hallelujah. Stop being in your own little clique, your own little group. Amen. And this is the spirit that, that Jezebel, well, you ain't having church. That you don't need to go there because I don't know what they're doing. If they serve the Lord, you better learn how to serve God with them. Praise God. There's somebody else saved other than the people in your church. There's somebody, hallelujah. There's somebody else living holy other than the people in your church. Praise God, hallelujah. Well, I don't know what's over there. Praise God, hallelujah. By the time you get there, you bring God with you. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise. God. You're not going to find a perfect church. I don't care where you go. Praise God, because that spirit is just crept into the house of God. Glory be to God. So we got to learn how to learn how to fellowship. Stop being in your own little group all the time. When you, yes, I'm saying you, when you have church at your own church, yes, it's your responsibility to be there. Praise God. But when you're not having church, go visit. Go visit other people. Go visit other church. Go fellowship with other people. Praise God. Hallelujah. You want them to come to see you, but you don't want to go see them. When you have the opportunity to go visit, you won't. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Hallelujah. Praise God. When you get to glory, praise God, you're not going to have a little group over there. You're not going to have a little group over there. You can have the Pentecostal over there. You're not going to have just the holiness over there. You're not going to have the Baptist day. You're not going to have the Everybody going to be together. So why we can't get together here? <laughs> why we can't come together here? Glory be to God. We got to learn how to fellowship. 
But they don't do this, they don't do that. No, no, no. If the Lord leads you to go there, go there. If he leads you to go there to visit, go there. If they have an evening service, hallelujah, and God give you the strength, just go and enjoy Jesus. This is why we're just being dead and dry because we're just sitting in one spot getting stagnated. Praise God. There may be a word of that of the church for you that evening. Praise God. And you don't want to go, well, I don't have church. I don't need to go no more. For real? But there's a word over there at Juju Church. Amen. That there's a word for you. And you don't want to go because of what somebody else said. You better learn how to go hear the word no matter where you got to go. Praise God. But your first responsibility, again, is at your own church. Praise God. But after that, amen, don't forget your brother and sister in Christ. Go visit. Praise God. And we'll tell them. They'll say, well, I should like to see. I'm coming. We don't be going nowhere. We just say that out of mouth. <laughs> Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Sometimes you just say it to get them out your face. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. You know you ain't going, but it's time to get out of that spirit of Jezebel. Jezebel just wanted them to be around her. She didn't want them to be around nobody else. She just wanted them to be around her. Glory be to God. We better learn how to fellowship. Ah, glory be to God. Hallelujah. With our sisters and brothers in Christ. Praise God. It's time out for our leaders. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Praise God. Glory be to God. Don't want you to go nowhere else but up under them. Gl really? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It's time to learn how to fellowship. It is time to learn how to fellowship with your brother and sister in Christ. Praise God. Yes, go visit them sometime. Amen. Praise God. Just to be in the midst of you, be surprised how God will bless you. Ha, he got a word just for you, just in that house. Praise God. And you're going to miss it because of what somebody else said. Are you kidding me? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, it's time to go up here. I give God praise. I, I'm so excited. Amen. Praise God about the fellowship. Amen. And how we have decided today that we're going to serve eviction notice on that spirit of Jezebel. Amen. How we're going to repent and wake up and we're going to do better. Ah, glory be to God. I just thank God. I praise God for you being on the line today. I pray I said something to encourage your heart. Amen. Praise God. I bless my own self, y'all. Amen. Glory be to God. I love God. I just, I just want, as, um, uh, the, uh, uh, what's that guy named? Amen. He sung, I just want to be right. That's it. I, I just want to be right. Hallelujah. And I just give God praise, y'all. Y'all, it's time to get right. Use what God has given you. Walk in that anointing. Use the gifts. Stir up the gifts on the inside. Hallelujah. Let's love more. Let's fellowship. Let's come together. Let's reason together. Let's begin to bind up the hands of the enemy. Bind up that Jezebel spirit that sits in the house of God, that sits in our house, that sits among our family and loved ones. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Love on the Lord. Love on the Lord. He loves you so much. Amen. I praise God for you. Father, we thank you right now for this word. God, we give you glory. We give you praise, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, help us to do better from the church house to our house. And God, we ask you right now, God, we need your help, God. We need your mercy. We need your guidance in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you. We give you praise and we give you glory, God. Continue to keep us covered on your blood. In the message name of Jesus, we give you praise and we say thank you in Jesus' name. Y'all continue to pray for me that I'll continue to do what God has called me to do, amen. I, I thank God that it, you've been blessed through this word on today. Now that, and I say this all the time, y'all, now that we've heard the word, we are held accountable to do it. And he said, the word said, he that know to do and don't do, that's sin. Oh, you know to do right and don't do it, that's sin. Hallelujah. And ain't no sin going to make it to the kingdom. Let's do better. There's some do better in all of it. He given us the opportunity to get this thing together. He's given us the opportunity to get these things together. And I give God praise. I do. I thank you for his mercy. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray. I love you today. I love you so dearly. Amen. And and, and, I, and ain't nothing you can do but, but love me back. <laughs> praise God. You might not like, but you got to love me. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm glad that you enjoyed the word of God. Praise God. Stand on the word of God. Walk in that anointing. Walk in that anointing. Walk in your calling. Be totally free in your mind, spirit, body, and soul. Be free. He said, because whom the Son set free is free indeed. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's time to be free. It's time now. And time out for allowing that spirit to bind you up. Praise God. It's time for you to bind up that spirit instead of letting that spirit bind you.
Amen. Glory to God. We thank God. Hallelujah. You have a great day. Amen. Continue to be careful. Be careful to be safe. Continue to wear your mask and all this other stuff because this stuff ain't going nowhere. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Live holy. Live the word. Walk the word. Be the word. Amen. Praise God. Walk in that word. Praise God. Hallelujah. We bless God. And I guarantee you, when you begin to uh, um, send that eviction notice to that spirit, amen, that, that Jezebel has planted in the land, when you begin to send an eviction notice to that spirit, and when you make up your mind, God, that I'm getting ready to, I'm getting ready to shake myself, I'm getting ready to walk in that anointing, I'm getting ready to do what you call me to do, I'm getting ready to be free, I'm getting ready to walk in the gift, Hot, be surprised, well, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised what the Lord will do in your life. Amen. When we learn how to be more obedient. How obedience is better than sacrifices. We try to figure out what we go through because obedience is better than sacrifice. Again, I love you and, uh, and I, I thank God that I, the word has been a blessing to you. Share. Amen. Share with your family. Amen. Share with your friends and even to the people on replay. Share, share, share. Amen. Glory to God. We thank God for you. Amen. Praise God. I pray that this weekend be great weekend. Amen. Services. Amen. Enjoy Jesus. Hallelujah. Enjoy Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. As much as possible we can. Because y'all know what? There's so much going on in this land. And so many people are dying. We never know what death is. Praise God. So we better put our time in. Because payday is coming after a while. Put your time in. Payday is coming after a while. Amen. We love you. Have a great day. Until next Thursday at this time. Amen. We tell God, thank you. Pray for me. Pray my strength in the Lord that I continue to stand. Until then, we're going to say, we're going to sign out. We're going to say goodbye and love you dearly. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Continue to keep me in your prayers. Praise God that I continue to do God, that, that God, all that that God has commanded me to do. Love you dearly.